Hi, it's Yui. Welcome to my channel, Chibi Chibi Chef Japanese Home Cooking. This is the second part of my meal prefecture trip, which is close to my hometown in Japan. Mie has a lot of great food and beautiful places, and I assume there are not so many foreign tourists yet. So if you like the video, be sure to check it out sometime. As I explained in the last video, Mie is close to Kyoto and Osaka, and it's along the Pacific Ocean. So they have a lot of fresh seafood, and it's famous for the premium wagyu, Matsuzaka beef. These are the places we went. After visiting the new resort shopping place, Bison, that I introduced in the last video, we headed to a hotel. The hotel is on the edge of the coast, and they have only 16 guest rooms. It's great for those people who don't want to see many other guests in the hotel and want to have a nice, calm, relaxing time. They have this beautiful entrance, and we are already so excited before checking in. We checked in a cool library bar with a beautiful view, but hoped the weather was better on the day. They served us with some welcome drinks and sweets while checking in, and it was so good too. This is the view of the bar when nobody was there except us in the morning. There's several free drinks in the magazines that we can borrow, so we had a morning coffee and did some reading there. Now to the rooms. Five of us stayed at the same presidential suite together, which has a private onsen bath. It's around $340 per person, including a gorgeous prefix dinner and a big breakfast. The two beds and the Japanese style room with a few futon spaces. There are some local suites and hotel information on the table. Then let's go outside to check the private onsen bath. The view was spectacular. Don't worry, there are blinds all over the large windows, so you can keep your privacy when you take a bath. And there was a little cute bath with natural onsen hot water. Mini bar with a coffee maker in the fridge. And this is the Japanese style room. This is the bathroom with an indoor bath and a shower. They also have shared onsen bath in the hotel. Time for dinner! You can have the tables by the windows if you have small groups. This is this month's menu. It's Kaiseki style prefix menu and they have 11 dishes in total. This assorted beautiful dish is called Hassan in Japanese. It's an assortment platter of small seasonal dishes or bites, and I love this since I can taste a little bit of everything. They had a local second flights too! Super fun! The shrimp was very sweet and fresh. I stole my husband's shrimp sashimi too. This fatty tuna was amazing. I wanted to eat more of it. There are so many dishes, so I'll show them really quick. This abalone was from the local bay Isewan. The sauce is made of abalone, and it was very dense and tasty. The eel was very soft. The sauce was great with the veggies. 
Sibas came with some beautiful little bites. The beef was very tender, and I love the Japanese steak sauce. They gave us this late night snack bento box to take to our room after dinner. What a wonderfully satisfying dinner! We came back and the futon was already set up for us. We got up super early the next day to see the sun come up. Still a little stormy first, but the sun broke through the clouds and we were rewarded with a picturesque sunrise. Then we had another big breakfast. Happy eating boot camp. We had a good fish, tamagoyaki, salad, and a lot of little dishes which we went great with rice. There was a variety of proteins and a plenty of veggies. And they cooked the rice just in time with the donabe pot for our breakfast. The freshly cooked rice was so delicious. After we checked out of the hotel, we went to an amazing viewing spot in Mie that is called Yokoyama Observatory. My friend who lives in Mie recommended this place. You can take the stairs or this slope to go to the observatory. What a fabulous view! This bay is a famous coastal inlet in Japan with a lot of small islands and peninsulas. There is a sky cafe terrace at the top, selling snacks and delicious ice cream. Then we came to an old town called Okage Yokocho, next to one of the famous shrines in Japan, Isejingu. They have so many restaurants and shops there, and it's a really fun place to visit if you go to Ise in Mie. The town is quite old, and it's reminiscent of bygone Japanese architectural style. On the main street, there are more souvenir shops and places for munches. I bought some nice chopsticks and the chopsticks rest there. So many things to see and places to explore. It's worth visiting Mie Prefecture just for Isejingu and Okage Yokocho. Then we came to our favorite Japanese sweet shop, Akafuku, for quick rest. It's next to the river and a great location. You take off your shoes, relax, and enjoy their famous sweets and tea. Usually it's quite busy, but today was calm and quiet. My family loves this Akafuku mochi. Less than two dollars. There is mochi inside the red bean paste. The dish has a very delightful and slightly sweet taste. For watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you on the next one. Matane!